When we look up at the night sky, we're seeing ancient history. The light from the stars has traveled across unimaginable distances, sometimes for millions of years or even billions of years, just to reach our eyes. To see even further back in time to witness the birth of the very first galaxies, we needed a bigger, better eye. That's precisely what the James Webb Space Telescope is. It's not just another telescope, it's a time machine. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, this marvel of engineering orbits the sun about a million miles from Earth, a special spot where it can stay cool and get a clear, unobstructed view of the cosmos. Its purpose is to answer some of humanity's oldest questions. Where did we come from? How did the universe begin? Are we alone? The secret to Webb's power lies in its ability to see a different kind of light. Our eyes see visible light, the familiar rainbow of colors, but the universe is filled with light we can't see, including infrared light. As the universe expands, the light from the most distant objects gets stretched out, shifting from visible light into the infrared spectrum. The Webb telescope, with its giant 21-foot-wide golden mirror, is designed specifically to capture this faint ancient infrared light. This allows it to peer through massive clouds of cosmic dust, revealing the hidden nurseries where stars and planets are born. It's like having a pair of cosmic infrared goggles that let us see the universe's best-kept secrets. Think of it this way. The Hubble Space Telescope, its famous predecessor, gave us a stunning photo album of the adult universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, is like a cosmic ultrasound. It's designed to show us the universe in its infancy, to capture the faint flickers of the first stars igniting after the Big Bang. Now let's talk about the object of our attention, 3i Atlas. That name might sound like a license plate or a complex scientific code, but it's actually a cosmic address that tells us a lot about this visitor. The 3i part is the most intriguing. I stands for interstellar. It's not from around here. It wasn't born in our solar system, not with Earth, not with the other planets. Instead, it's a traveler, a wanderer, likely ejected from another star system millions of years ago, drifting through the vast empty space between the stars. It's the third such interstellar object we've confirmed. A messenger from another sun, the Atlas part tells us who first spotted it. Atlas Ace Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a network of telescopes on Earth scanning the sky every night looking for moving objects like asteroids' comets. Discovering and tracking a small, dark object hurtling through space is an immense challenge. Imagine trying to spot a piece of charcoal from miles away against a black velvet curtain. That's the difficulty astronomers face. After the Atlas survey's initial detection of 3i Atlas, astronomers needed their best instrument. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb's unparalleled sensitivity to infrared light makes it ideal for cold, dark objects. Regular telescopes see reflected sunlight. Webb detects the object's faint heat signature. Webb used its near-infrared camera, NearCam. Webb used its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. It stared at the exact patch of sky where 3i Atlas was predicted to be. It didn't take a single snapshot. It took a series of long exposure images over several hours. In each image the stars stayed fixed. One tiny faint dot moved. Astronomers compared the images, measured that Dot's movement against background stars confirmed it was a nearby object, and refined its trajectory with incredible precision. It's like connecting the dots, except the dots are millions of miles and hours apart. This is where Webb's power shines. It's not just about seeing it, it's about characterizing it. So, we have an interstellar visitor, and it's heading our way. The big question on everyone's mind is, naturally, should we be worried? Let's break it down with facts, not fear. The first thing to understand is that space is incredibly, mind-bogglingly, big. The paths of Earth and 3i slash Atlas are projected to cross, but the universe operates in three dimensions. Crossing doesn't necessarily mean colliding. Think of two airplanes flying at different altitudes. Their flight paths might cross on a map, but they will pass safely one above the other. The key is determining the exact time and location of the flyby for both Earth and the asteroid. Based on the latest tracking data from Webb and other observatories, as of today, September 4th, 2025, the probability of a direct impact with Earth is extremely low. Astronomers calculate orbits many decades, even centuries into the future. The current models show that 3i slash Atlas is predicted to pass Earth at a distance of several million miles. To put that in perspective, the Moon is about 239,000 miles away. So, this object is expected to miss us by a very, very wide margin. The risk level, as defined by scales like the Torino scale, which measures impact hazards, is currently at zero. 
The reason astronomers continue to watch 3i slash Atlas so closely is because of something called outgassing. As the comet-like object warms up, the jets of gas and dust that erupt from its surface can act like tiny, unpredictable rocket thrusters. Faced with a unique object like 3i Atlas, the global scientific community has mobilized in a coordinated worldwide effort. This isn't a job for just one telescope or one country. The first step is continuous, relentless tracking. James Webb gives detailed snapshots, but it can't stare 24-7. Ground-based telescopes take over. Observatories in Chile, Hawaii, Spain take turns as Earth rotates, passing the baton to keep the object in sight. That creates a constant stream of data, updating its orbit in near real time. Tracking is only part of it. Scientists are doing intense characterization studies. They use every tool to learn about this interstellar visitor before it leaves. Large radio dishes like Green Bank bounce radar off the object. The returning echo reveals its size, its shape, and its rotation speed. Is it potato-shaped or bowling pin-shaped? Spectroscopy is another key tool. As the coma grows, instruments split the light into a spectrum. That spectrum is a barcode of molecules. From that barcode, they identify ices sublimating from the nucleus. They measure water carbon monoxide and other compounds. Comparing these measurements to comets in our solar system gives clues about the object's origin. Let's engage in a bit of a thought experiment. While the current data shows 3i Atlas will miss us, what would happen if an object of its estimated size got very close to Earth, or even hit us? It's important to talk about this, not to create fear, but to appreciate why planetary defense is so important. The effects of an impact depend critically on three things. The object's size, its composition, where it hits. 3. I Atlas is estimated to be several hundred meters in diameter. An object of this scale isn't a planet killer like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs, but it would be far more powerful than any weapon ever created by humanity. If an object of this size were to strike land, it would create an impact crater several miles wide. The energy released would be equivalent to thousands of megatons of TNT, triggering an earthquake of immense magnitude and a blast wave that would flatten everything for hundreds of miles in every direction. Now consider that our planet is over 70% water, so the most likely impact scenario is an ocean strike. This wouldn't create a crater, but it would generate a mega tsunami. The initial splash could reach miles into the sky, and the resulting waves would radiate outward across the ocean basin. These waves would be far larger and more powerful than any tsunami generated by an earthquake. They could travel at the speed of a jetliner and inundate coastal cities hundreds or even thousands of miles from the impact point. The devastation to our planet's coastal populations and infrastructure would be, honestly, unimaginable. When we talk about an object millions of miles away, it can be, well, hard to grasp why tiny adjustments to its path matter so much. Think about launching a paper airplane across a room. If your initial throw is off by just a fraction of an inch, the plane might land a foot or two away from your target. Now imagine that room is millions of miles wide. That tiny initial error gets magnified enormously over the distance. This is why the first observations of an asteroid always come with a huge margin of error, a wide cone of uncertainty about its future position. As astronomers gather more observations over days, weeks, months, they are essentially lengthening the ruler they use to measure the object's path. A longer arc of observed travel allows for a much more precise calculation of the full orbit. This is how the cone of uncertainty gets narrower and narrower. With 3i Atlas, the initial orbit calculated by the Atlas survey had an uncertainty that spanned millions of miles by the time it reached Earth's vicinity. The role of outgassing adds another layer of complexity, turning a predictable celestial mechanics problem into something more like a meteorology problem. We know the general forces at play but there's an element of chaos. It's a powerful feedback loop that allows us to take a faint dot of light and transform it into a predictable, well-understood trajectory. For 3i Atlas, this process has turned a potential threat into a fascinating but safe scientific subject. So what's the bottom line? Should you be losing sleep over 3i Atlas? Absolutely not. The story of this interstellar visitor is not one of impending doom, but one of incredible scientific achievement and cosmic perspective. We live in an age where we have the capability to detect a dark, silent traveler while it is still hundreds of millions of miles away. We have tools like the James Webb Space Telescope that can give us an unprecedented look at its nature, and we have a global community of scientists working together to understand its path. This is not a scenario from a disaster movie, 
it's a demonstration of humanity's growing competence as residents of the solar system. The discovery of 3i Atlas serves as a powerful reminder that the universe is a dynamic, active place and we are a part of it. Our solar system isn't a static display in a museum, it's a bustling environment with traffic coming and traffic going. The fact that we can now track this traffic is a cause for reassurance, not anxiety. Every new object we find and track, whether it's from our own Kuiper belt or from a distant star, adds to our catalog and improves our understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. What should you watch for next? Keep an eye out for the scientific results that will be published in the coming months. This is the true excitement of this event, the opportunity for fundamental discovery. In the end, the universe is constantly sending us messages written in the language of light and gravity. The arrival of 3i Atlas is one such message. It doesn't say be afraid. It says look up, be curious, understand your place in the cosmos. It calls us to continue exploring, to keep building better eyes on the sky and to work together as a species to read the next message the universe sends our way. So stay informed, stay curious, and as always keep looking up. The greatest adventure is the one we are all on, together, on this tiny blue dot in the vast cosmic ocean.